you too what's going on with y'all man look we back with another video it is your boy seth man it's been a little minute again you know as usual um that's not good but you know it's good to be back it's good to be back where i need to be where i belong where my home is and today i got a hot topic for y'all you know let, let's just talk about the color corrections right because a lot of people want to know how can i up my color correction game how can i make my pictures just pop and look mad saucy like you know everybody wants to know the sauce but you can't get the sauce if i ain't gonna give it to you so i'm about to give it to you today so in today's video what you will need is just camera raw that's it you need photoshop of course and camera raw all right so let's go ahead and dive right into it we about to go ahead and break it down. I'm about to go ahead and give you the sauce. Let's get it. All right, before we get right into it, make sure y'all go ahead and drop a like. Make sure y'all go ahead and subscribe so y'all can go ahead and join the community so we can all be learning together and just having a great time on this channel. All right, so back to the basics. Let's get it. All right, now that everybody's in Photoshop. So first of all, we had this piece that I posted on my IG. And if y'all haven't, go ahead and follow my IG. Go ahead and follow all of my socials, matter of fact. But yeah, make sure y'all just tap in with me on that side so we can all stay connected. And y'all can see when I'm posting a lot of fire content. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and get to Camera Raw, all right? Now, Camera Raw is right here under the filter, but like it says right here, you can press Shift, Control, and A. I like to use that because I just like to work fast, you know? I just gotta be quick with it. So, first of all, I'm not finna give y'all the whole rundown of this whole program, because I could say that for another video, I promise you. Y'all will enjoy that too. But I'm just giving y'all the secrets, the shortcut way to get y'all designs looking good, okay? So what I like to start out with first is the profile, right? And I like to go to artistic and go to artistic four. And let me just put up my before and afters. So already you see, this makes a huge difference. It makes it more cooler. You know, it pops out the reds a little bit more. I just love it already. And I just set this as the foundation, right? And from there, I just build. So, in the basics. And now for my all, for all my Lightroom users, y'all should know this interface because this looks basically the same. It is literally the same. I, I can't tell no difference. But, so from right here, you know, I can adjust my temperature when I'm my tent but we're not adjusting none of those right so the first thing i like to do is give me some textures because this is making it more defined and with the clarity i just do a little bit of clarity because clarity can extract the color from your design and it can make it just dull like i don't i don't need this right here i don't need this at all this is just too much you know so i usually keep it at around a good solid like 20 somewhere around there you know, you got your vibrance and saturation. Now, with your curves, you know, you can always mess with that and do what you do. But I don't like to use the curves. You know, just sometimes it really depends on the design. But more often than not, I'm really not using curves. But the main thing, another main thing that I like to use is the sharpening. Now, with the sharpening, I like to do 48. You know, it just pops everything out. You know, brings it to life a little bit more. You know, you know, <laughs> you know. So, next with the color mixer, you can just adjust like the saturation, the luminance, and the hue of everything. I use it sometimes, but this is not the first thing I really go for. I like to do this like in the end. But I will skip to the next thing that I like to use. Now, this is the big secret sauce. It's calibration. All right, with calibration, you can adjust like the blues, like the tint of the blues and whatnot. And, um, you know, it's popping out like the yellows as well. You know, I... I'm still getting the ropes of, you know, why everything is, you know, in calibration. You know, what does it truly do? You know, I just found it out in 
this just works like a beauty like honestly so with this one i'll bring my blues over just a little bit and the greens i can i'm gonna just scale back a little bit because i don't want to oversaturate anything so and with the hue this goes up this is more like the yellow side and this is more like the magenta side and i like to keep it like around here that's a good little tint for me so i can do a little bit of vignette to it a little i like to put a little bit of grain in my designs just a little grain of salt you know so the next thing you can do is use color grading in this design i won't be using it because i feel like i already color graded enough but i love this wheel you know it's just you know it's easier to access the colors that you need to and you know make the combinations that you need so but like i said i'm not using this one in this design and so basically that's basically it but it's another thing too you have the brush right now with the brush i like to pop out any lights now you just take the brush i'm gonna reset this real quick and i'm gonna just pop these lights out and make this look way more realistic so with the brush that is definitely a secret weapon right there because the brush can make anything pop out you know sometimes if i need some sharpness on his face i'll just create a new brush boom put it right there reset this do some clarity on it get some sharpness to pop out his face in case um i didn't do it while i was in photoshop so keep in mind to use the the brush as a secret weapon all right now another thing i like to do is doing the graduated filter right here and so i usually like to bring this down just because as a photographer you all know when things get closer to the camera depending on your lens now i don't know but it the object tends to get darker so right here you know we have a low angle shot it looks like so i'm gonna just make it darker right there and make it more dramatic anyways with that being said that is the sauce i hope y'all enjoyed this video make sure y'all go ahead and like subscribe do all that y'all need to do it has been another video i'm seth and i'm out